Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to be discussing about how to verify response values using our robotic framework. Here in the previous session we saw for how to validate, how to give this request and all, why it is required for library and what exactly testing uh, settings and variables and test cases and this all the things we saw and now our case we are going to verify for new one that is verification response body verifying response body okay this is the name we are going to use it and now i'm going to check okay. And here is previous session we saw for status, content and headers to display, right? Now how to verify and there are a method to create for status code getting. Okay, we need to get for some status code and we need to store into one variable. Okay, now we got it from here, right? Now we can able to see here and just I'm going to now we'll here and specifying this variable and this value we need to store into one another variable we created one variable to store the get response like that we need to very store that this response for that dollar this and again inside that status and equal and one tab or two tabs we can able to specify then enter and here we need to use should be equal method first method is this one and second is we need to verify for 200 and by default it will show for see uh, it is give some error because it is undefined variable status and first is the keyword calling should be equal and there is a provide undefined variable means the variable it is not coming here because our status code is by default it is in integer format correct and it is coming here but we are not converted in any location and we are verifying that for that we need to use convert Convert to integer this format and we need to convert this status into integer format here and then that is integer it will come some some variable here and here you can it is coming to here you can able to see there is a variable local assigning status and equal to converting to integer then here it is presented convert integer okay and save and here we are going to verifying terminal and going to passing these variables and we are going to test case to verify underscore response body once we hit in case our conversion now it is fake because integer and string format this is a string format and that's why it is not able to convert because we converted integer now it is string format both are not equal then we can able to use string here inbuilt method string then use the same method Now you can able to see the pass condition. Now our state, both the status are both are equal. Okay, another method also it is presented. There is one more method should be equal as a string. 
one is there and should be integer if user should be integer this method we required to convert for this into integer format okay then it will take the integer format and it will equals because it is completely a integer format and it is refer for integer value only and we can able to specify for which content we need to verify like that okay and next one is we need to verify for content correct and the content we need to verify and also we can able to specify some content information here and again how we done for status code same thing we are going to doing for content verification and we need to specify this content and we need to we need to keep for one variable content and equal double slash and again we need to use for convert to string okay because we need to store for variables there and then we need to use for should be should contain should contains we can able to use because that is the length information right and we need to verify and all we'll see for how in the response inside the value how we can be able to verify those things we'll see later video session now here we are going to use for contents to verifying the value what exactly the content is having here this is the one and i'm going to check for and able to we can able to see here some information is present there is a ramesh chopper the name it is presented we can able to paste it here now i pasted this person and we are verifying that particular name it is presented in the response or not and we can able to go ahead here and see whether it is able to verify or not now our case it is verified now another one is headers and the headers we can able to see this one and it is basically a list of dictionary values it is provided correct this all key and value this is a list format how dictionary uh, presented right the dictionary how it is presented the same format of information it will provide here and based upon that we can able to verify whether it is uh, which which information we need to verify those things we can able to see here and before that we need to get some dictionary value and how we can able to get some dictionary value means list of dictionary value we need to get from dictionary this is the object we can able to use inside the what happened this method will help you get from dictionary it is inside the headers what information we want to display that information it will read and in our case we are going to use for content type right for this we are going to use for this information now we can able to first we are going to print for and dictionary value purpose we need to use for leap and collections what exactly this collections is dictionary related information like the list dictionary and remaining things we can able to use it here and we can able to see what exactly this content type value it is presented first log and we can able to print this value and save it and then terminal we can able to enter whether we what exactly the value it is displayed and we can able to see here this is the value we need to verify okay and copy and go into here 
should content should be equal and we need to specify second is the value and first one this value we need to specify now both the cases are ready then just you can able to check whether it is verifying or not now everything is verified and we can able to satisfy both the conditions this is a format we can able to verify our response body and in-depth response body and <coughs> this particular id email name gender how we can able to verify we'll see in the later video sessions that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed if you like this video please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you